I'm Diego Cordovez. Adam Schoenfeld. Welcome to The Scoop. We have a special guest, Chad Brown, completes a historic husband and wife pair of guests for The Scoop. Unprecedented. <laughs> but uh, on his own merits, he's been a longtime cash game winner, and on the side, he's won almost $4 million in tournament winnings and been runner-up twice in World Series of Poker events. And he's also been battling cancer recently, so in addition to all his poker, uh, there's a lot we want to talk to him about. So you're about to go to the EPT in Madrid. Right. And you've been playing uh, a lot of the live games now, that that's what we're doing. But uh, you look great. Thank and a you. lot of people probably were concerned because they've read on the internet about your, your health surprise that you encountered. Well, you know, uh, my dad um, uh, was super concerned. Uh, and um, so I, my dad wanted to come out when I was getting the surgery. I'm like, nah, like, my dad's nuts, you know. <laughs> I mean, I'm not kidding you. But like, he's not supposed to be concerned about right. the uh, my dad. Son. My dad, like if, like if the doctor came in with bad news, he might kill the doctor. Right. Like, that's, that's the kind of nuts he is. <laughs> right, so you don't need that. No, <laughs> I, was like, I was like, you better not. I said, Dad, don't worry. I said, it's not like. Uh, life-threatening surgery you know I said I said after the surgery I said then come out because then I can hang out with you I said in the hospital right. after the surgery I said I'm gonna be laid up in bed you're not gonna you're not gonna have anything to do because you were in LA and then suddenly you found out that you needed surgery correct I mean the, out of the blue correct? out of the blue no you know what happened is um, in November I had a hip repla hip replacement surgery mm -hmm. which I knew I was gonna do and that went extremely well I recovered quickly from this. Like I went in for surgery on uh, on a Friday. Doctor said expect to be in the hospital till Monday. They let me out Saturday night. Right. So like you know I was walking mm -hmm. on my own with the just with the use of the cane. Right. I didn't want to put too much pressure on it. Uh, so surgery was great. I went to the Bahamas and and uh, right around the time when I was playing in the Chad Brown tournament in Jacksonville. Yeah, we're gonna talk about that. I you know I started to feel some like lower back pain which would which you would feel from a workout mm -hmm. and then but the other sign which said okay something's not right is when I was sleeping at night I feel a little like like uncomfortableness in the groin area so I thought that because the hip was great but I thought you know what maybe the hip is sort of hitting on a nerve because mm -hmm. I didn't know that much about it I called up my surgeon I said I don't know if it's from working out uh, he goes, well, you know what, come in, you know, you're coming to L.A., so when you come to L.A., come in, we'll take a look at it. So I went in and took an x-ray, and he's like, Chad, your hip is perfect. He said, and if you were any of my other patients, I'd kick you right out of the office. He said, but you never complain. He, right. said, he said, like, when I came in and he saw the x-rays, you know, how my regular hip was, right. he couldn't believe that, like, I took so long to come to him to get the hip replacement because right. there was no cartilage there. Mm -hmm. And he's like, I said, I'm all right. I, said, I was going to say, good. just knowing you, that if you went in for hip replacement, it must, it must have been really bad because yeah. you probably toughed it out for a while. I, you know, I did. I, I, you know, I, I, the reason why I went in, really, I could have still not have done it. I'll tell you the reason I went. I was holding out mm -hmm. because I was optimistic that uh, stem cell research, you know, uh, was on the cutting edge mm -hmm. of coming to fruition. Right. And one of the things that stem cells would do is re regrow brand new cartilage. Mm -hmm. So I've been on top of that following that because I, I, I said I'll wait another three years, if three or four years if yeah. it's going to come out. Because I'm not suffering. I'm even, like, even with my hip, I still... You know, once a year I go and play with my team uh, in Arizona in a baseball mm -hmm. tournament. So you're functioning. I'm I'm a DH. I can't play the field, um, but I can DH. So you can run. And I can run looking like a fool going you know, goofy <laughs> down to first base. You know, I'm probably not even the slowest guy with the way it is. But uh, so thank God. But I interrupted this, you, but yeah. So thank God that this doctor really did suspect that something was amiss. So he said. He could have easily dismissed it. Well, because this is an or orthopedic who didn't see anything wrong and said, you know what, I'm going to give you a script. I want you to go get an MRI tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Cause, because you said there's something there. It's got to be something there. Right. And next day was the MRI. Uh, my orthopedic called me that night. And, you know, like I'm not even thinking, I'm thinking, like I said, nerve stuff. Yeah. He called me up. He's like, 
Chad, uh, that we found something there. Uh, we're going to do a CAT scan tomorrow. And I go, CAT scan? I'm still not getting it. Right. I'm like, CAT scan? I go, it must be some other kind of test. I don't want to do that radiation, the high radiation <laughs> test. He goes, no, 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 believe me, you want to do it. And I'm like, oh, now I knew. Yeah, right, something's up. So, you know, went in for that, and uh, he was there for me. He was great because, uh, you know, normally an orthopedic would just send you to an oncologist. Mm -hmm. He already knew what the likelihood, what kind of cancer it was. It's rare. So he already had the guy who's the top guy who does these surgeries at UCLA scheduled to see me uh, on Tuesday. And I saw him on Tuesday. He confirmed it. Friday, surgery. And right. They didn't waste any time. They didn't waste any time. No, it was because this was a huge tumor. This was uh, 27 centimeters, like 10 pounds. When I read that, I thought it was incredible in that to have a 10 pound mass in your body that you're unaware of just seems strange. Like, like you don't believe that it really could be there without your being aware of it. I mean, you'd notice something, but not this mass, you know, in, inside your stomach. When, when uh, you know, the doctor said, you know, it's, it's huge. They didn't know how much it weighed at that point before the surgery. Vanessa, before the surgery, said, look, said, let me see your stomach. She goes, you know, I can see the slightest difference that's a little bit bigger on the right side than on the left side. She goes, I right. could never, oh, I've never known. No, right. right. Because this, that's this the thing. type you, of cancer is in the, in the skin, in the fat. You'd think you'd have muscle. something protruding out of your body, practically. Right, right. right. So, so, you know, I mean, that's how we found out about it. So, you know, but back to what we started when you guys said, you look good, you know. So I had my dad come out. My dad, like I said, was like, thinking the worst mm -hmm. and we got off the plane he was like you look good <laughs> <sighs> and he was staying with his his old friend from New York who lives out here who's like 85 now Milty <laughs> and he'd go over to Milty's house and drop my dad off at his house and Milty's like you know Sonny your kid he looks great <laughs> right. I yeah. thought he was gonna die next week <laughs> Well, because it sounds terrifying. I mean, this oh, no, is a, it's serious. a terrible place. You know, everything in that in that area is very serious. Well, no, I had it. They removed the kidney too. You know, because the it, the good news with the kind of cancer I have is a it's a very dangerous cancer. It's very aggressive. Mm -hmm. But uh, the good news was that from what I've been told, like there are cancers that are aggressive that like to invade organs, and then. If they don't, then that's a good sign that they don't necessarily like to invade organs. They didn't invade my kidney. They were wrapped around, it was wrapped right. around it. Right. So the reason you had to remove the kidneys because I had to get radiation there, which would have killed the kidney anyway, and then, mm -hmm. had to be, then it would have been another surgery. So you've continued with radiation therapy, but you've also been playing, playing poker, which is a good sign. Yeah, I mean, you know, um, you know, when I was told, you know, like, here's the potential side effects, this, 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 and this, uh, you know, it's always a, it's always a possibility, you know, um, and, uh, with me, uh, you know, thank God, uh, the worst, the worst thing that happened maybe is like, you know, you felt a little more fatigued mm -hmm. than normal and an occasional, uh, diarrhea. Right. But this is great news because, I mean, reading the first reports, it was obviously very serious and it still is very serious. I mean, even just the post-surgical radiation is is very serious yeah but uh but you're you're, you're treating it aggressively and, and your spirits and, are good and you're beating Absolutely. it and you're beating Vanessa's it Vanessa's spirits are good too she is she is she's she's optimistic i mean uh, i mean she she was unrealistic at first there was a, there was a 1% chance that uh before i had this you know before the pathology was done on the tumor there was a 1% chance that it wasn't cancer right and she was like Hit pretty hard. I was like, it's like ninety nine percent. I mean, right. <laughs> this is this is like quads. You, on you, the flop, you, you, uh, you get uh, you get upset when <laughs> when you when you lose an eighty twenty. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. <laughs> but this is the poker player optimism. Too. Yes, you know you yes. always believe you're uh, right, right, you're right. Gonna, you're going to survive. You're going to try out whatever. So right now, you know, I mean, I feel good. Uh, the game plan is uh, probably in two to three weeks, my doctor will do a scan and uh, hope that there's no cancer in the body. Right. Mm -hmm. If there's no cancer in the body, that's great. If there is the problem, we'll have to deal with it. If if it's not, it doesn't mean that uh, my job's done. Uh, because, like I said, this type of cancer is aggressive, and and it's I can tell you right now the the stats are 
it's 84% chance that it comes back within five years. Mm -hmm. right. So, uh, but you're monitoring it aggressively. But, for that but well, I mean, but, but take, it's 15% less because of the radiation. Mm -hmm. So we knock that 84 <laughs> right. down, and then I take into account that there's uh, special diets that uh, are anti-cancer anti diets. Mm -hmm. And of course, you know, I'm gonna be following that. You're motivated to follow that. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. It's harder, uh, the harder way to really be motivated to follow a diet. Uh, right, guess. right, right. Thanks for joining us on The Scoop on cardplayer.com. And uh, we're gonna have Chad Brown back for part two. Uh, it's been important to talk to him about his health, but there's a lot of poker to go over, both uh, tournaments and cash. And we'll roll we'll get to